All right, welcome fellow Shopify entrepreneurs. I wanted to make a quick video explaining what semantic search is. So just this past month, we had Shopify Summer Editions 24 come out and it was beautiful and it was massive and it was an excellent update and I made a whole video on that. In Shopify Summer Editions 2024, there was this small update that said semantic search on more plans. Shopify and advanced plans can now enable more intuitive search for customers in the search and discovery app. This feature was actually introduced for the first time in Winter Editions 24 for the first time. And when it was first introduced in Winter Editions 2024, it said here it was an exclusive to Shopify Plus feature only. When Shopify releases a new product, they usually start with a very small subset, like an early access group, then it goes to plus, then it goes down to more countries or more languages, then it goes to more plans, and there's always this trickle down effect for a feature to be tested thoroughly and eventually released to as many merchants as possible. And so since we are seeing this trickle down effect now being introduced to more plans, I wanted to make this video to help explain what this is and what this is for. So the actual definition of the word semantic or semantics is an adjective that means relating to meaning in language or logic. And this is exactly what semantic search is being described as in Shopify. Semantic search is a way of using Shopify's AI to better understand the intent behind the search query by the customer to always show search results to the customer. The whole idea behind this whole tool is to limit the amount of times that a customer goes to your Shopify store, enters a specific keyword term, and no results are shown. Zero results match the query. This leads to bounces, this leads to no conversions. And even if you have a product that can be suitable for the search term by the merchant, if your search isn't set up or it's optimized or isn't using AI tools like semantic search, customers will not be able to see it, they will not be able to find it or consider it or buy it. They'll most likely bounce from the website. This is exactly what Shopify is trying to avoid because when Shopify merchants make money, Shopify makes money. So semantic search is defined as it lets your customers search for products in a way that is more intuitive to them. Semantic search, one of Shopify's AI powered storefront search features, goes beyond keyword matching and better understands your customer's intent, returning more relevant search results. So there are some requirements and at the time of this video, it says the feature is only available on search for English have that have fewer than 200,000 products and is only offered on the Shopify advanced and plus plans at this time. As we see the product trickle down to more and more plans, I'm sure this will be available to everyone very soon. But it says semantic search builds on top of existing keyword based search by introducing semantics. Remember, semantic means language or logic to better understand what a customer is looking for. The feature uses both text and image data of your products to better understand whether they're relevant to a customer search term. For example, if a customer searches for Christmas party shoes, semantic search can associate the search term to colors green or red or Christmas and pumps for party shoes. So if you're currently on Shopify advanced or plus plan with an English storefront and have fewer than 200,000 products, you can activate this by going to the free search and discovery Shopify app, click the settings, and then scroll to the search relevant section. And there's a feature that says try out or you can turn on semantic search. Again, the main idea to all of this is to limit the amount of times a customer comes onto your site, searches something in the search box and zero results pop up. We never want that to happen. That doesn't help your business. That doesn't help the customer. That doesn't help Shopify. You saw that this update in January 31st, 2024, right around winter editions came out, gives us a little bit more context about the new feature in the search and discovery app. This update at the time says introducing semantic search, our new AI powered storefront feature for plus merchants in the search and discovery app. Now it's been expanded to more merchants and I'm sure it'll be expanded further in the future. But the little update here says you can drive sales and increase product discovery with this new search feature that goes beyond keyword matching and understands again, the buyer's intent, returning richer and more relevant results. With semantic search, your customers can use everyday language to find what they need even if they search for something warm to wear in the winter, for example, instead of fleece jacket, understanding the intent, the buyer's intent and the customer and the searcher's intent behind what they're trying to find. And so there's this excellent blog here on Shopify search about semantic search, what it is and exactly how it works with all the information that is released at this time. We can see here the highlighted benefits include improved relevance and accuracy, understanding synonyms and related terms, contextual comprehension, support for voice search and conversational queries which all in all 
creates a better user experience, right? Limiting the amount of times nothing, zero, shows up. You know, when you search something here and you search a search query and zero results match that, we never want that to happen. And so what I was wondering is how exactly semantic search works and so it's broken down just like this. So semantic search uses multiple tools to decipher semantic meaning and answer. And it does this in six ways. So I think the most impressive one here is number one, where it says NLP, which is natural language processing. Basically what this means is instead of the store searching the keyword that the customer puts in and finding a product that matches that keyword, this is very limited only to the store and the tags and the keywords and the description and the title. What NLP does is it taps into a large language model, which helps computers comprehend words and phrases that humans speak to analyze the search query and the parts and the structure behind it. And this is how computers learn search intent inputted by humans. The large language models are tapping into Shopify's AI and how this is why this is now possible. With the NLP, it uses the NLP and the large language models to understand the intent Intent is a huge keyword in e-commerce. Searcher's intent is the backbone of SEO. And so semantic search identifies the user's intent or purpose behind the search query. It considers what the user is trying to achieve or what knowledge they are seeking instead of just matching one word to one product. This third little highlight here, contextual analysis, is kind of what NLP was describing up here by instead of using just the words, it considers the surrounding words and the phrases and the structure to determine the intended meaning of the term and then uses what is called knowledge graphs to map the relationship between these words, entities, concepts, and don't forget images to consider the context and the intended meaning of the surrounding words, phrases, and the images. But as we know, one of the biggest things with AI is that it is always improving. Look how much and how far we've gone from when ChatGPT was first released to now where we are at, creating images and videos and who knows where it's gonna be in a year from now. So I think the sixth point is also very interesting because we don't have that much information or that much examples of this in action. But number six highlights the semantic search engines continually refine their processes through machine learning. And so what's interesting, it says here, for example, Google, the world's leading search engine, sometimes contacts users and asks them to rank their satisfaction with searching on its platform. And so perhaps that will ha happen with semantic search on Shopify. Merchants will be asked to rank their satisfaction with what semantic search is doing, or maybe that's what's already been happening with the early release down to plus and then down to Shopify plan and advanced plan, hopefully down to basic plan and all the other plans as well and other languages as well. But another giant feature on the search and discovery app where this is found is that you can program synonyms. Again, the main idea about all of this is to match intent to products so customers don't bounce and also to limit the amount of times that zero, uh, zero search results comes up when a customer searches for something because the customer's just gonna bounce and they're just gonna go somewhere else. So in the search and discovery app, you can actually set up synonyms. And in Shopify, there is a report that shows you your most common search terms, what they're displaying, and then also how many times customers search things and zero results are displaying. And that's why synonyms were super important because you could directly input what customers were searching from this report and then you can make synonyms and different search results in the app. And so this is kind of, I guess, the manual process of doing it. You can still do it, recommend doing it. For example, if a user searches for smartphone, the search engine might also include related terms like mobile phone or cell phone. And so this is all sort of working together. And so my thoughts on this are very good. Obviously we wanna limit how many times nothing shows up to the customer to increase conversions. My only issue was this, uh, with this is how do we optimize our stores for AI? Because for the longest time, all we've been doing is having an SEO strategy and now AI is being introduced all over the place. How do we optimize our store for SEO and AI? Are they the same thing? Are they different? Do you have to have an SEO strategy and an AI strategy? or will the AI strategy work on your already SEO? And so the highlights I highlighted here, again, there's not much examples at this point in time. It's a relatively new feature that's being rolled out, but it does says how to incorporate semantic search into your SEO strategy. And most of these points are very similar to a common SEO strategy. We have keywords, high quality content, comprehensive content, understanding targeted audience and search intent, what they wanna see, structured data, topic clusters is a very popular um, SEO strategy and pillar content. And so it looks like at this point, at least, there isn't 
isn't a comprehensive AI search strategy. And just by using your SEO strategy, semantic search will do fine, but we'll see. And so right here at the bottom, it does say, how can I apply principles of semantic search to my SEO content? So you can apply the principles of semantic search to your SEO co content by conducting keyword research and semantic variations, considering search intent when you create content and optimizing for voice search. So this is kind of SEO guidelines in a nutshell. We have a great example here where the search bar is typing in something warm to wear in the winter. And then we see our warm selection of products here. No, the person isn't typing in a jacket or a hoodie or a hat or winter collection. It's typing in a common query or a question or an intent. And the semantic search doesn't match those keywords exactly to the search or result to the searchable products as there's many different ways people can search for something. A lot of the times people ask questions or some people just type in small keywords. And so we wanna cover all of these aspects. And so I just want to make this quick video to give you my thoughts and to understand what the word search, semantic search actually means, where Shopify is at with it, what the process is for installing it, what we know about it so far and why it's important for your business. And so if you wanted to stay up to date on all Shopify updates, I do a once a month Shopify update video on this channel so we can go through all the Shopify updates, improvements, new features so that we can continually optimize all the Shopify stores. And of course, I cover the Shopify additions twice a year by annual massive product release event. Just recently did a massive Shopify summer editions 24 video where we went through all of this. This was a great, great edition. So if you haven't watched it, check it out. But I hope this clears up what semantic search is, what the search and discovery app is, what Shopify AI and Shopify magic is. And if you want to stay up to date on anything new coming to Shopify or semantic search updates or anything like that, that's one of the major things I cover on this channel. So hit that subscribe button if you'd like. And if you're a fellow Shopify entrepreneur and you want to join an active community of like-minded Shopify entrepreneurs, as we all chase the same e-commerce tree, consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.